Even if you guys have never graded a card, don't know anything about it, you guys are going to want to pay attention to this because there are some big profits to be made on some of the cards that you might have in your collection. And we're going to start off with the Obsidian Flames. This is the Pokemon Center exclusive uh, Charmander. So you got this in the Obsidian Flames uh, Pokemon Center ETB. Uh, you can get them for like 70 bucks right now. I think it's about the going rate. But check this out. This is wild. Last solds on here on eBay. $650. So that's what I'm saying, guys, is if you have one of these cards in your collection and you've never graded, you should take some time, take a look at look at it, inspect it, watch some grading videos because you guys could potentially send in this Charmander, sell it for $600 or down here $700, and you could buy more copies uh, from that profit of that, that grading. So I do have a video on grading uh, if you guys are interested i did a whole thing on kind of what to look for and how to do it and how to approach it but if you guys haven't looked at your charmander if you have a clean copy you could grow your collection by a lot so that's why i bring this up uh, not even just to make money you guys could be growing your collection by a lot with that one grading play so um, just consider that we're gonna look at a few more cards uh, which are pretty wild but the charmander starting off is just insane in a PSA 10 so that's that's the power of grading then we have so another um, thing that you can do it's pretty common when you open a new set like especially if you open it like on release date and you pull something if it looks really clean same thing watch watch my grading video get kind of a feel for it uh, get in a dark room you know uh, get a lot get some lights on it and it'll help show all the flaws if you pulled the Terrapagos which is about, I think it's like $110 right now. And you sent that in and you graded it. I mean, we're seeing 470, 500, 600 crossed out. So 600, we'll just call it like 500 average. You could have sold that card for $500, which once again, you could sell that PSA 10 copy and buy a bunch more Terrapagoses if that's what you wanted or buy the Terrapagos to replace it for your collection and then get more booster boxes or whatever you guys are wanting to do. So uh, I know there's a lot of people who don't grade and I know it's intimidating, but this is just like, guys, you, you need to look into this, okay? People are making money on this for a reason and you guys can too. Uh, next up we have the Charizard. Now this is the 151 and this might be the worst eBay photo I've ever seen. I don't know what this person was thinking, but it's still sold for $400. That kind of is the power of grading because you don't really need a good photo. As long as they can read the cert number, they can verify that it's a 10. So um, now the Charizard, it's been going up in price um, around 150 bucks. Uh, some We saw some sales up like 170. Um, the PSA 10 sales are a little bit kind of all over the place right now. But same thing. Uh, if you've been ripping a lot of 151, like a lot of people have, you might have multiple copies of the Charizard while you're trying to complete your master set. $300 in a 10, 400 in a 10. This is a raw copy. 500, 470, 400. So, once again, if you have a clean Charizard, an extra one, I have an I have an extra one. I have two copies. Unfortunately, I've looked at them. Uh, I think they're both would get nines. So, it, that is what it is, unfortunately, for me. But take a look at your guys' Charizards. You guys could be making some money here, uh, especially if you don't care about graded. If you don't care about graded at all, that's totally fine sell it to somebody who does so that's that's the power that's the power of grading um we got a few more here we have okay so stellar crown just came out right the squirtle and the bulbasaur obviously they go with that charmander uh, that we showed before same like uh artists and everything 260 250 dollars in a psa 10 for the squirtle that's a lot of money guys it's what it's like a what was it like 40 bucks i think i think it's 40 and the bulbasaur is like 30 so will you guys do the math it's not hard to do okay how much money are you making okay um also like grading grading fees you know you're gonna pay like 20 bucks a card maybe 25 um also there are middleman services um that will grade your cards send them in for you so you don't have to like meet the minimum requirement or anything, you could just send in a few. You might pay a little bit extra per card, but you're going to pay a lot less than getting the membership and doing all that. So 
your local cart. Sometimes a lot of local cart um, stores do that. There's other middleman services as well. Just take a look. That's also something I've been looking into doing um, because I I do I haven't done. I took a little break from grading, but I usually do a lot of grading. So um, if you're watching this, let me know in the comments if you want me to offer a middleman service. Could be nice. Um, just something I was thinking about. I'm not sure how to structure that, but something I've been thinking about for a while. But uh, yeah, there is even so if you're early, like if you can get it graded quick, 350 bucks for the Squirtle. Like that's just insane. Then we have the Bulbasaur. Okay, same thing. Bulbasaur, even cheaper card. 250, 220 bucks. Look at this. 250, 250, 250. I wonder if we. Yeah, those are all the sales right here. So there is money to be made. Look at your collection, guys, especially with the new, the new pulls. Now, something that you guys have to think about, like with the Bulbasaur and the Squirtle, if you just send it in now, by the time you get it back, there'll be a lot more copies out there. So you got to do it like on release, like boom, get that sent out immediately. Um, because the price, there'll be more copies and the prices will come down usually. Um, then, real quick, I just wanted to point out that this is pokeyne.com. Uh, uh, he started with a lot of Japanese, but I didn't even go into his backstory, but Japanese booster boxes, English booster boxes. Uh, you can see Supercharged Breaker, Surging Sparks on here. Um, we do have a discount code. It is in the description of this video. If you want to save some money on your purchase of $50 or more and get a free pack. But back onto the grading. So here's an example of not as good of a grading play. We got the, the Galvantula um, SIR from Stellar. Once again, I'm just using... The modern ones, like you, if you can get on them, the modern ones uh, can make a lot of money. But um, the Galvantula, if you have a clean copy, you can still make 150 bucks. Like look at these, these are last solds, 150, 150 bucks. So if you pulled that, you spend 20 to grade it, 25. There's some profit to be made there. So this is a, I'm just showing like kind of a lesser example, but um, there's a few more in here. We're all using just like more recent examples for the most part. So then there's the Persian. This is from Shrouded Fable. Shrouded Fable is a set that most people do not like. It is not really performing very well. The Persian is pretty affordable. I think it's what, like 25 bucks? Last time I checked, um, let me know in the comments if that's wrong. I haven't checked in a minute, but I think it's around 25, maybe 30 at most. Somewhere in that range, I think it's 25. $228 and 247 down here. Now this one went for 100, but that was on bids. So, 200 bucks potentially for the Persian as well. So that's, once again, that is easy money to be made. Then we have the Houndoom. Um, the Houndoom, which is a card I really like from Shrouded Fable. Um, we're seeing last, so like prices have gone up a little each sale. 100, 102, 113, 140. So take a look at your Houndooms, once again. Uh, even, even from sets that aren't as desirable, like Shrouded, there are popular Pokemon and like, Stellar Crown, not everybody liked Stellar Crown. Most people feel like didn't. But that Bulbasaur and that Squirtle. Okay, you guys catching my drift? I'm gonna sound like a broken record by the end of this, but then they, we have Stellar Crown, the Hydrapple, SIR, not very expensive either. Uh, this one's a little bit more expensive. I once again, I should have checked, but it's not. It's not very expensive. It's 180 bucks. I bet we see a sale that goes higher than this at some point. Possibly the next one. I don't know. Um, this is Japanese down here, so ignore this. Um, but English. Oh, yeah. Last sold on the Hydrapple 32. That's what I was kind of thinking. I was thinking like mid-30s. 35, 40. But uh, $35, you could turn it into 180. So even if you spent 50 by the time you grade it, you're over taking 50 and turning it into $180. So um, then we have, once again, just another quick like dash bun. Not a very expensive um, SIR. Look, last dash bun that sold right here was $25 ungraded. Went for $173. So that is uh, the power of grading. I don't, I haven't really talked about a lot of grading stuff recently. And I just wanted to make you guys uh, aware. If uh, Not everyone is aware of grading, what it is, um, and what you can do with it. And it, it, it's a little intimidating. Um, so yeah, hopefully the, the grading video... Uh, will be helpful. Um, I'll have put a link up somewhere. I don't know if it'll be here or at the end or or in the middle. But anyways, there'll be a link for the grading video. Um, so you guys can look to do that. 
but serious serious money um, is to be made whether you want to make that money to pay your rent um, just to grow your collection um, that is up to you but I just I'm trying to give you guys the information and the tools um, the tools are being more like the video um, that I made that's a very like how-to informative video I explain a lot in that and then this is more like the information on some of the cards so I'll give you guys uh, some uh, we, and we talked about uh, the the Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander sequentially um, numbered. We talked about that in videos in the past, but I'll give you guys some. It, it's not hard to figure out, but if you guys are going to be opening Surging Sparks on release, if you pull that Pikachu SIR, if you pull the Cerulege uh, IR, a anything like that, um, uh, the Hydreigon SIR. The Alolan exit any SIRs, especially if they're Pokemon or popular IRs. If you pull them on release, inspect them. If you think it looks really good, send it in. It, it could be worth the gamble. Be, uh, once again, it, it takes a lot to know for grading, but I just urge you to look at it. Um, also, there is uh, the Discord server. The link is in the description if you want to join it. I haven't really been advertising it because it's kind of got kind of big. There's a lot of people in there. But there's a grading section in there. Send your pictures. You can ask people. Um, I'm not, I'm, I'm in there. I'm not always, I'm not in, in there as often as I would like to be. But um, people are always in there asking, how's this centering? What do you guys think? And, you know, people are zooming in and helping each other out, like seeing defects and stuff. So um, that's another way. And I'll try and be uh, more active on there as well. So I'm giving you also, I'm giving you guys a line to not only me, but to others who have graded. Uh, so you guys can hopefully capitalize on this, on these grading plays. Join the Discord. Um, if you want to buy something from Poke &E, um, use the discount. Uh, the code's in the description. Um, I don't, I don't get anything from that. I'm not, I'm not getting literally nothing. I'm not getting paid. I'm not getting product. I'm not getting nothing. I'm just trying to give you guys a discount. That's literally all this um but that's gonna do it for this one guys i'll catch you in the next one and remember it was never a phase